All right, so this one's pretty easy. Check it out. I can't do this. I don't, I don't. Sorry. <laughs> when your business is your passion, it pays to invest in yourself. Marty Schwartz, YouTube's favorite guitar instructor, did just that. Today, Marty is telling me how he created his music room by being very creative and waiting until he had the funds to do it right. First, I might ask Marty for a quick lesson. I'm Gabe Bolt, here to show you the small shifts you can make in your life that will lead to a huge impact on your financial future. This is Big Change. When you work for yourself and are ready for that next level, get my own office space seems like a logical next step. But do you really want to pay rent to somebody else? Hence the home office. You can save on money, you can save on a commute, you can save on headaches. This can be especially important when your work is really loud. That's exactly what Marty Schwartz of Marty Music did. He bootstrapped his way from a tiny apartment, single cam setup, to teaching millions of aspiring guitarists on YouTube. Not only did he add on a brand new music room in his house, he did it by building a loft into a huge vaulted ceiling in his home, with a little help from the refinance fairy. And now he runs the show out of his own personal guitarist paradise. Hey, Marty. Gabe. Hey! I have my guitar, I don't play it, but I have it. Having a guitar is a really good step to learning guitar. That's what I've heard, so I'm yeah, halfway there. <laughs> I'm gonna play something after looking at Gabe. This is inspired by Gabe. Okay, ready? <laughs> wow. With skills like that, you must have seen a lot of artists. What's the best concert that you've ever been to? It was the kickoff tour in Hollywood, Hollywood Sports Arena, Red Hot Chili Peppers, uh, kickoff tour of Blood Sugar Sex Magic with the opener of Nirvana and then the first opener of a band that didn't have an album out yet called Pearl Jam. I saw this like show that now is kind of epically thought of, so I was there. Well, my first concert was a free One Republic concert uh, in a park in Boston, so nowhere near <laughs> as epic as that one sounds, but clearly music has been a huge part of your life. How old were you when you started playing guitar? Played a lot of sports up until my senior year of high school, borrowed a guitar from a buddy, learned some basic open chords. It was just kind of became my obsession. YouTube wasn't around back then. Like, how did you learn? <laughs> I really wish uh, what I do now was around, but um, but basically my buddies were the first ones to kind of get me going. As I got more serious, I found some good guitar teachers. So I'm definitely a proponent of finding good mentors. That's awesome that you found something you love that much. How long has it been your, like, your full-time career? When I graduated college, I started playing in bands and teaching guitar as a day job. And then in 2008, things transitioned into getting into this whole YouTube world. And so that's been 13 years now, full time. What was like your first setup like when you were just getting started? Literally started with no lighting, no camera even, just a laptop camera. And it was just in an open garage in my house. That's really cool. What inspired you to kind of create the space that you're in now? This room that I'm in right now, the floor that I'm sitting on was just open. So I'm on the second story in my house. So when you would walk into my house for 15 years, it was just a two story foyer. There was a couple of my neighbors with the same floor plan that had done what I did. So I was kind of lucky. I, I had some other neighbors kind of be the, uh, the guinea pigs on the construction. I was even able to talk to their different um, contractors to find the right one. Knowing that I had equity in my house and could actually add value to my house and have a perfect work situation, it just made so much sense. Sounds like the perfect setup. That's really cool that it worked out that way. Going back to the refinance, what was that process like for you? Had you done that before? The more I thought about it, the more it made sense to, to try and refinance the house. And then when I actually went through the process of refinancing, I found it super easy. I had refinanced one time 
in my life about 20 years ago. Doing it today was so much easier because of all the um, the ways you can sign all the documents you need digitally. Overall, uh, it was a, a really smooth, easy experience. Did you see the loft build as kind of like an investment into your business or did it just kind of like make sense? Tax wise, there's a part now of my house what is being worked as my office. Plus it added square footage and space to my house. So it adds value to my house. The efficiency of working from home uh, is another bonus. So it, it's like everything about it is a win. So what's like your favorite part about this new space? It functions as like an awesome entertainment room for my whole family. When it's not being used for work, it's being used for entertainment and fun. What advice would you give to someone who is just getting started and wanted to build a music room? Soundproofing is something to really think about. Now you can put sound insulation in your walls or you can get sound dampening uh, blankets or like industrial size blankets that you could put in after the fact. What would you say would be the biggest takeaway that you would take towards future renovations? Patience and being able to go with the flow. Not everything is gonna happen exactly according to plan. Flexibility sounds like it's key. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much for uh, taking the time to do this with me. I really appreciate it, loved the advice. Hey Gabe, thanks so much, man. I really liked Marty's attitude here. You have to think outside the box when it comes to building your own success. Marty's hands-on approach is also key when you're renovating. He finessed his budget by taking on a lot of the work himself and he really made this refinance work for him. Marty knew exactly what he wanted before he started his project. That's the key to any successful renovation. Be prepared for some surprises when you get started with construction. If your neighbors or your friends have done similar projects or renovations, then kind of ask them what their experience was like. It can save you a ton of time and a lot of stress. Plus, it's a great way to get an idea of how much a renovation will cost. Everybody's workspace has different needs. If you're a musician like Marty, you need soundproofing. Me, I've got more cables and gear than I know what to do with, so storage is definitely on my list. What would my ideal space look like? I'm not really sure yet, but I know that I'm gonna follow Marty's lead and build out a smart budget first, and second, I'm gonna sketch out what my ideal work from home space is gonna look like. You also wanna make sure that your budget has plenty of wiggle room for those construction surprises. You never know what could happen. Are you ready to break new ground? Rocket Mortgage has more information on different refinancing options that can help you bring your dream space to life.